Hey everyone, Gio here. Y Juan Carlos. And we are coming to you from downtown Louisville, Kentucky. And directly behind us is the Brown Hotel. And this is a very historical hotel here in Louisville. And one of the reasons we're here is for why? Why are we here? Because we're having brunch. We are. It is Saturday and we are going to Jay Graham's Cafe and Bar. And a little known fact about this hotel, a long time ago, there was a chef here that created something called the Hot Brown, thus the Brown Hotel. And the Hot Brown has become a staple of this area of Kentucky, Louisville area, as a favorite dish. And it's basically uh, sort of an open-faced turkey with a little twist and a spin. So we thought, why not? We're here. Mm -hmm. Let's try it. Let's try it. So we're gonna have brunch, we're gonna have a hot brown, we're gonna take you guys with us. Let's go see what this hotel is all about. Yeah, I'm excited because I've been coming here to this area for many, many years already, over 14 years, and this is the first time that I actually do this. Yeah, So, my first time too. Mm -hmm. First for all of us. So anyway, let's go explore the Brown Hotel and have a hot brown. Hello, kind sir. How are you today? He's a man of many words, but he's a little poodle. That's actually J. Graham Brown from 1881 to 1969. I feel like back in the 20s, in the 1920s. All right, most important, we got our coffee. We're seated here in the cafe at the Brown. And uh, we're being very indulgent today because it is a buffet, a brunch buffet. So we're each gonna have the buffet, but we also ordered the a la carte hot brown. And they offer two different sizes, just FYI. So the, the, the standard large size is a seven ounce, and then they have a smaller version if you want that. I can't remember how many ounces. Three and a half ounces. Three and a half? There you go, three and a half ounces. So we decided to go for the full, just so we could show it to all of you. No way in heck are we gonna eat all of that, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we're gonna indulge. That takes about 20 minutes to make. So we're gonna enjoy our coffee, the scenery here. It's definitely old, and we feel like we're back in like the 1920s. I love the ambiance, and uh, we'll see how the buffet food is first. Bacon and sausage. Wow, salmon. Looks nice. And some grilled sirloin and potatoes. Salmon chowder. Bitter rolls. Okay, it's really hard to see because there's glare, but this is a historic photo of this dining room. And there's actually, if you ever come here, pay attention to this photo, there's a couple of interesting things. It's all women except for one man. And then there's a waitress way back here. But she's headless. Here. The hot brown has arrived. So let me describe what we're seeing here. We've got a nice crispy layer of cheese. We've got a couple of bacon, Parmesan cheese, some um, baked tomatoes. And then underneath there's a layer of bread with the turkey. So I also got an omelet, so there's a lot of food here, but shall we dig in? I'm gonna cut into it, let's see. look under there. Wow. You can see the bread, the turkey, the cheese. Beautiful. Steamy. Steamy, yeah. I'm going to try to put this on your plate. Let's see. All right. <laughs> well, there's a piece of the toast. <laughs> and a tomate. And then uh, some kind of a, a 
sauce. Looks like a like a Bechamel sauce of some sort. Cheesy sauce. Mm -hmm. All right. Are you ready, Amor? <laughs> See what Louisville is known for, folks. <laughs> Get a piece of bacon on there too. Yep, let them be. I'm trying to get a little bit of all of it at once. Mm. The hot, mm -hmm. the hot brown. I like the creamy sauce a lot. Mm -hmm. It's so yummy. And then the turkey is pretty good. And well, bacon, you cannot go wrong. So yeah, I can see why this is so famous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, this creamy sauce is very good. I like it. It really is. It's creamy, right? Hearty. It's got such an amazing flavor. It reminds me a little like the best way I could describe it for those of you who have ever had like chicken and dumplings. It's almost like the sauce that you have with chicken and dumplings, but a much thicker. That's the only the only thing I can compare it to, but it's like nothing I've ever had before. Absolutely love it. It's a little history of this going back to the 1800s. They used to have a dance room here in this hotel and people would dance into the wee hours of the morning and the chef of this hotel created this dish. It was an alternative to just typical breakfast food or snack food that was being served. And he created it and it became a hit with all of the customers that were dancing the night away. And now here we are in 2022 and all these years later, it's one of the most popular dishes here in the greater Louisville, Kentucky area. Pretty cool, enjoy. A little bread pudding, a little chocolate. All right, this is Juan Carlos's favorite bread pudding. And it's got a bourbon um, caramel sauce. Mm. Well, let's have it in your mouth. <laughs> very, very good. And I'm not a huge bread pudding fan, but this is really good. All right, so also here at the Brown Hotel, the movie Elizabeth Town, starring Orlando Bloom and Kirsten Dunst, was filmed here at the hotel. Pretty cool. Again, this hotel has been serving guests since 1923. Some of the historic artifacts. It opened on October 25th, 1923. Only 10 months after construction began, and it only cost $4 million to build. directly here off the main lobby is the main dining room here at the hotel and as I indicated it's currently not open since the pandemic so not sure when that's going to happen but we are here in the end of August 2022 absolutely beautiful
we're sitting in an old-fashioned conversation chair. And uh, as you can see, let me stand up and show it. These were actually designed to be for a little bit of modesty back in the day. The lady would sit on one side, the man on the other, or in our case, the men. <laughs> and you'd have conversation. So Juan Carlos, how's your day? It's going well. It's going well. And you do a little brush of the arm. Ooh. <laughs> but uh, having a great time here at the Brown Hotel, folks. Yeah. <laughs> All right, continue our tour. For some reason, I just picture lots of men smoking cigars, talking about their wins or losses at the racetrack. It's a beautiful bar. Lots of bourbon, Manhattans, sours, good stuff. Great little gift shop here at the Brown. And hey, ladies, if you're coming and you're here for the derby and you didn't bring your derby hat, it's a nice little place you can come pick up a derby hat. So all kinds of other little items. Oh, that's cute. Little rainbow stained glass heart. We're looking to see if maybe we can find like a brown. Oh, I found it. For our tree, we collect an ornament everywhere we go. The Brown Hotel. What do you think? I see kidding. There we go. We came, we conquered. And here at the hotel, they even have a little art gallery featuring all local and regional artists. Obviously themed to the Kentucky area, lots of horses, derby stuff. It's actually cool. All right, everyone. So our time is coming to an end here at the Brown Hotel and our culinary delight of having a hot brown. Mm -hmm. What did you think, Juan Carlos? It was delicious. Yeah, I love the hotel, the, the, um, the restaurant, the ambiance, mm -hmm. beautiful, um, the bread pudding. So good. <laughs> it's phenomenal. Yeah, they, they also have good coffee. I like it. Yeah, they do. The coffee was really good. Everything was great. The omelet station. So if you come here for brunch, uh, you have an option of uh, either an a la carte brunch or a buffet brunch. And um, we did the buffet plus a la carte because we wanted to have the hot brown. And um, seven ounces was perfect for the oh, two yeah. of us, but I think it would have been way too much for just a single person. Just FYI. Um, but the good news is, is that the food here is great. Mm -hmm. And it's a classic old hotel, so if you really like history, uh, you can spend a little time here in the hotel wandering around and looking at all the beautiful old photographs. I love old photographs, and they got lots of them here. And some artifacts and some history about the place, which is kind of cool. And a lot of horses. Yes, we are in Kentucky. It is horse country. Um, so yeah, if you find yourself here in Louisville, Kentucky, we would highly recommend coming over here. Currently, right now, the, uh, the restaurant is uh, Jay Graham's, which is serving uh, the brunch and the food. The main dining room in the hotel has not reopened since the pandemic, so I'm not sure when that opens, but that little cafe is absolutely beautiful. So, anything else you want to say? You gotta try it. <laughs> yeah. Come we are, to Louisville. We are it. so full right now, so we're gonna go work off our lunch by doing some walking and exploring some museums here. So stay tuned, those, those videos are coming up next in our Kentucky series. But as we always say, how can it exist? A lifestyle. And we appreciate all of you watching as always. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Give us a little thumbs up and a like, we appreciate that. And uh, until next time everyone, see you later. <laughs>